Vegas Wonderland here in the Las Vegas, Nevada desert, 20 miles off the Las Vegas Strip, here at a three-year art installation by Swiss artist Hugo Rondinoni. We are here at Seven Magic Mountains. Let's go ahead and go take a closer look. So opened here in May of 2016 by Swiss artist Hugo Rondinoni. It originally was going to be a two-year art installation, free parking, free public attraction, right here off the 15 freeway in Las Vegas. So each one of these limestone boulders was specifically hand-selected by Hugo, right here at a Nevada quarry, chiseled down to size, a skele implanted skeleton inside so they can stand up. And the boulder that weighs the most is anywhere upwards to 50,000 pounds. And then airbrushed and put on display here in 2016. Originally only supposed to be a two-year art installation, it became so popular and a very populated tourist attraction from Los Angeles on the way to Las Vegas, the city decided to expand the project for another year. These seven colorful seven magic mountains the height is 32 feet. Seven Magic Mountains is produced by the Art Projection Fund out of New York and the Nevada Museum of Natural Art in Reno. This is a free 24-hour exhibit about 20 miles off the Las Vegas Strip. So if you're coming from Las Vegas, the best bet is to take exit 25 and it's about seven miles up the road. Free parking, free traction, come here anytime you like. It is going to be on display until the end of 2018.
So here, roughly a five-minute drive from Seven Magic Mountains is Nevada's very first hotel casino that opened. And also inside is a free movie car attraction. Let's go and take a look. So here at the Gold Strike Hotel Casino, Nevada's very first operational casino, the hotel that opened, is a free attraction of movie cars. We have Hell's Chariot from Grease Lightning. A model four Fairlane from 1955. The 1955 Lord Lincoln Futura, one of the many, many Batmobiles. And the 1981 DMC 12. DeLorean, Doc's Time Machine from Back to the Future. Obviously this is just a replica reproduction. The original is located in downtown Los Angeles at the Peterson Auto Museum, which would be known as the Hero Car A, the one that was filmed and used mostly during the filming of Back to the Future, the Hero Car A, originally sat on the Universal Studios backlot tour for roughly 25 years before eventually people working in the backlot, extras filming, eventually would go up and steal parts off the original DeLorean, so they moved it from Universal Studios to the Peterson Auto Museum, which is currently on display. Now this is Mr. Fusion, so this would have been Back to the Future Part 2. Chevy Camaro Z28 from Fast and the Furious.
Okay guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. There's gonna be a lot more videos coming. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That would be so much appreciated to me. And out here in Las Vegas and surrounding areas, I'll see you in the next video. This is Vegas Wonderland. Catch you next time.